Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm the Fairy Tempest and today we are starting a brand new historically inspired challenge that I created for The Sims 4. Um, so it is called The Accomplished Woman and it is set in the Regency era, uh, also known as the time of Jane Austen and her many works, Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, um, but also uh, most recently, Bridgerton, because Reggae on Page. You know what I'm talking about. My thoughts of you never end. So, the inspiration for this challenge officially comes for, from one of my favorite scenes in Pride and Prejudice, where Elizabeth Bennet is visiting Mr. Darcy uh, while her sister is there ill, and they get onto this subject of the accomplished lady, what constitutes the accomplished lady? You all paint tables and play the piano and embroider cushions. <laughs> I never heard of a young lady, but people say she is accomplished. And in this scene, Mr. Darcy says, no one can be really esteemed accomplished who does not greatly surpass what is usually met with. A woman must have a thorough knowledge of music, singing, drawing, dancing, and all the modern languages to deserve the word. And besides all this, she must possess a certain something in her air and manner of walking, the tone of her voice, her address and expressions, or the word will be but half deserved. So I was very intrigued by the premise of this that, um, you know, while on the surface, all of these things are wonderful, you know, the, the ladies of the time were well versed in the arts and social customs and sort of like the airs of being a lady, but it's all very superficial. Um, and this is something that's talked about in Bridgerton a lot, like the women in that show are very self-aware of their position in life and how it's very limited to the fact that they're expected to be able to obtain a wealthy, you know, a wealthy, advantageous husband um, and be prepared to manage a household. Um, and. I came across a writing that was about the characters that Jane Austen created and the women that she creates like like Elizabeth Bennet, you know, are very um, strong characters in that they have um, a lot of character. <laughs> they have they're very logical, um, they're very opinionated, you know, and, and they're very practical and they're sort of not the usual lady. Um, and so I sort of thought of the the Super Sim challenge and what that would mean in the context of the Regency era, you know, if there was a woman that wanted it all, like she wanted to get a husband and manage a household, but she also wanted the things that were expected for men at the time, which was to go to university, establish themselves in a career, um, and be sort of like, you know, contributing to society. So that brings me to the challenge that I created. And here we are. The uh, background of this challenge that I will be playing assumes that your sim is a young woman on the cusp of entering society in 1813. An only child of two doting parents, you have lived a comfortable life in the upper class. Growing up and watching your parents own happy marriage, you've always dreamed of finding your best friend to marry and have children with. Your mother has carefully taught you how to be a proper lady, and your father, rather progressively, has always taught you to dream of a different kind of accomplishment, as he would if he had any sons. With the season fast approaching, you count down the days to your official presentation at court when your life will truly begin. 
So once again, I have created and edited a save file so that the world feels historically accurate. We are here in Henford on Bagley. Um, that is the country residence of the family that I will be playing with for this challenge, the Bassett family, um, so named for Reggae Jean Page's character in Bridgerton. <laughs> And the young lady that we will be focusing on for this challenge is Nalani Bassett. So let's load the household and introduce you to The Sims. So first I want to highlight and give a shout out to the builder of the house that we will be in. This is the Longbourn Estate built by Rustic Sims. You can find them on the gallery. This is an absolutely gorgeous build that was created um, after the house that's in the uh, Pride and Prejudice movie with uh, Kira Knightley. And it is furnished by me, Furn built by uh, Rustic Sims, but I edited a lot of the furnishings because I wanted to put in, you know, various custom content and things that I have. So um, actually, you know what, let me exit tab mode and we'll just go right into the house and show you, um, show you everything and everyone. So uh, we've got like a formal dining room over here. Um, we have Mr. Bassett's study and the uh, one of the formal drawing rooms where the ladies play piano and entertain. Um, over here we also have like a little sitting room uh, and this is fashioned after the sitting room that is in the Bennett's household um, in Pride and Prejudice. Here we have the kitchen. Um, and sort of like a little pantry over here. Upstairs, we have sort of another study, maybe uh, like a formal library. Over yonder is the master bedroom where Mr. and Mrs. Bassett sleep. This is their daughter Nalani's bedroom. And over on the other side of the house are the servants' quarters. So our housekeeper, Charlene, sleeps in this room. And Nalani's governess, Hattie, um, sleeps in this room. We also, excuse me, we also have two dogs. This is uh, Caesar and Darling. I almost called them Duchess and Darling, um, but it's Caesar and Darling, and they are uh, Great Danes, um, and they are absolute loves. Um, and then, because uh, this is a country household, we do also have some chickens and one cow. Um, so, let's introduce y'all to the family. Here we have Arthur Bassett, he is the head of the household um, and he is a good sim, a bookworm, and self-assured. Um, he's also a sage and a hero. Uh, these traits, I believe, come from wonderful whims. Um, as a career, uh, he is a judge, so he is currently an honorable arbitrator um, and he is yeah part of the legal profession he is married to the beautiful and accomplished calliope bassett um, she is the lady of the house so that means that she runs the whole show you know she orders dinners she makes sure that her daughter's education is going properly um, and she is a rather accomplished woman herself she's got uh, pretty high skills in almost everything and Calliope is family oriented she's a music lover and she's creative creative last but certainly not least the focus of our challenge is Nalani Bassett um, so this young lady is outgoing and creative and she is um, right now has the accomplished lady 
aspiration. This is an optional aspiration, um, a mod created by the wonderful Peebs. And this is an aspiration that you can add into the challenge um, just to sort of add in that little extra bit of like historical accuracy to your, at least to your aspirational gameplay. And Nalani, you know, she has been growing up again under her mother and Hattie Mason's tutelage um, on how to become a well-bred lady. Um, and we'll, you know what, it is evening right now, so we'll get everyone ready for bed and then we will start fresh tomorrow. Calliope is actually the first one awake today, which means that Charlene, our housekeeper, definitely needs to get up and start uh, getting the house ready for the family. So um, in this challenge, you are more than welcome to hire a butler, hire a maid, hire a nanny. Um, but I decided to move in to create a sim that would be the housekeeper um, and and have them in the household. It just felt like that might be that might end up being simpler because then I could just like sort of well honestly control what was going on. So uh, we are going to have her serve some pancakes this morning. Um, and Calliope is, looks like she's feeling fresh and ready. I might just have her relax for a few minutes. Um, and I think we will also start Nalani's day by having her write in her journal. So the point of uh, this first portion of the challenge is to um, essentially get Nalani ready to come out into society. So in like a lot of the Regency books and movies, they'll talk about um, young ladies that are ready to be out in society, which just means that they're ready to find a husband. Um, and in order to accomplish that, uh, Nalani must be able to uh, reach level four in the charisma, knitting, piano, singing, violin, and writing skills. Um, we also have to reach level three in her cross stitching and dancing skills. Um, see if we can obtain three positive character value traits and read at least three poetry books and romance books. So we've definitely got our work cut out for us, I think. Um, I tried to make it like kind of challenging, you know? Um, and so we'll just sort of see, see how we do with that. So the whole household is pretty much up. I'm gonna have Arthur take a bath. Um, it looks like someone's going to need to bathe the dogs too because they keep running around in the chicken feed. Um, and oh, okay, so Shala Charlene, don't know what I was even about to call her. Charlene uh, was able to get food ready. So we're gonna have the family come and grab a serving of these lovely, lovely pancakes that she's made. Um, and then we can basically get started with our day, see if we can do some of Nalani's like lessons, I guess, for lack of a better word. And that is going to fall into the hands of her mother and also Hattie Mason. So Hattie is our governess, a lot of wealthy families, um, especially with young children, would have a governess that's someone that would be looking after the children, but also like specifically, uh, specifically responsible for their education, their formal education. Although honestly, like Calliope might be able to do a lot of that, but you know, like Regency ladies, they, sort of had their their social life yeah i mean basically that's it like like the the traditional i guess parental 
um, relationship with their kids was was a very formal one. Oh, wait, don't put those away because Arthur hasn't eaten yet. Can you fill all of the pet bowls, please, Charlene? Thank you. Um, yeah, they had like a very formal relationship with their children. Uh, they kind of like went about doing their um, their social calls and whatever, and then they would sort of have breakfast and lunch with their kids and, and their kids brought up sea, for lack of a better word, uh, would fall to the hands of of the governess. All right, oops, definitely got plenty in the way of chores to get done uh, in the morning here. So Charlene is gonna go pick up the um, pet poops from last night and then gonna have her come over here and refill the feed, clean the shed. Let's see, the chicken coops are, uh, this one is slightly dirty, so we're gonna get those and uh, we can also collect the eggs from the chicken coop so instead of having her water the plants because we do have a gardening service uh, I think I'm gonna have her clean the dogs because one of these or actually maybe both of these dogs are very very dirty so we're gonna have her take care of that now nalani you are not supposed to be able to use that computer um and i believe i told you to go upstairs and get ready for the day can you not reach your dresser you can okay so i don't know what the issue was because i think the first skill that we're going to get started on is the piano skill so hattie since she's a governess she is uh uh, master of many many skills that Nalani will have to learn and this way she will be able to mentor her um, in the things she needs to know. Nalani now that you have gotten changed I'm gonna have her come sit down at the piano and practice um, and Hattie I'm gonna have her come in here and uh, make sure that it's going okay or not can you at least walk in there yeah there we go so we're gonna have her um mentor miss nalani as she practices make sure that that's all going well all right so mentor miss nalani please i'm gonna have calliope uh do a little bit of cross stitching so we could do a medium hoop with blueberries and raspberries how about that so Nalani, and Nalani I think is kind of like the typical dutiful daughter, like she is going to make sure that she learns all of her lessons the way that she should be. We do not want earbuds, thank you though. Um, and you know, I think she's excited at the prospect of sort of growing up to be a young lady who can find a husband but not just a husband I mean her parents are very much in love um, and I think she's excited to find someone who can be like her friend and partner looks like our gardener came and watered everything which is fantastic uh, so looks like Charlene is just nurturing the plants um, while that is occurring i'm gonna have her do laundry I have her do laundry and wash some things in the wasp basin um we should also make sure that we actually probably first we should clean the cow because our cow is kind of dirty and unhappy calliope um is feeling a little bit tense because of her daughter's uh lack of skills thus far oh i had her make a flower arrangement this morning so let's add a vase to this let's see let's add a spring vase and this is probably the part of the day not as like 1 30 where calliope would probably have um like her lady friends call on her kind of thing so we'll have her sit in the drawing room and start a club gathering oh yes so um this is the high tea society i created a couple of different clubs 
uh, for the various sims in the world. So we've got the Artist Society, the Barrister's Chambers, which Arthur is a member of because he is a judge, he's a member of the legal profession, the Chamber of Commerce, basically a group of business owners. Uh, we've also got the Gentlemen's Club. So back in the day, like gentlemen would literally just gather and smoke and drink and gamble uh, <laughs> and just have a grand time together. That was like their big social to-do. There's also the High Tea Society, which Calliope is a member of. It's run by Bella Goth, and it's basically just like a tea and gossiping society. Um, and then we've got a couple of other here's like acting ones. There's a soup kitchen, which is run by the reverend's wife. So we've got a couple of uh, a couple of those here. Um, so Calliope, I'm gonna have her start a gathering and um, you know get get to knitting with some of her friends here. Let's check and see how Arthur is doing. He's reading pleadings currently, okay. All right, Nalani, why don't we take a break from practicing since she needs to pee. I'm gonna have her go use the toilet real quick. A defendant stands accused of trying to ice skate on an unfrozen pond. On the charge of trespassing, how do you find? Wait, I don't know. I'm supposed to make a decision just based on this little information? Um, uh, guilty? I guess? I don't know. Can't believe they're putting people's lives in my hands. All right, next up I think is going to be knitting. So, oh, not animal clothing. Let me have Nalani knit a black and white beanie. And then, can I, yeah, mentor. Totally thought that there was like a, an interaction where you could teach a sim to knit, but maybe that's just with children. You wake up Caesar, please, and give him a bath. Because he's so stinky. He's so, so stinky. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Let sleeping dogs lie. Some of the members of the household are getting hungry, so I think I'm going to have her uh, serve dinner instead. So let's do a ham dinner. Calliope, meanwhile, is enjoying her club. Nalani is all done, all done knitting. So I'm gonna have her just kind of talk to Hattie now. We'll go over everything, ask about how she's doing, fill up her social needs. I would love for her and Hattie to have like a close relationship because, you know, this is going to be the person that is kind of bringing her up and telling her uh, sort of like how to move about in the world in a way. So I want to make sure that they have a good relationship. Caesar is awake and desperately desperately needs a bath so we're gonna give caesar a bath please so now that we're all at the table let's see we're gonna sort of this oh you can eat dinner please um and then you know chat about a scandalous lawsuit this would be when like nalani gets to check in with her parents ask about their day and who is this person I'm sorry. No, no. What are you doing here? Get out of my house. Get out of my house. No? I don't know who you are. Oh, and this would probably be a good time for Hattie to sort of like fill in the mom on the day and sort of like how how Nalani is progressing and all of that stuff even though it's like the very first day. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh yeah. And so everything's going really well so far. So I think Nalani can probably be excused to take a bath, get ready for bed. Um, and the family's kind of winding down for the evening anyway. So this is probably a good place to end this episode. 
Thanks so much for watching. So I will be linking the rules to the challenge down below. Let me know what you think so far in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe for even more videos coming your way. I will see you all in the next one. Thanks. Bye.